All right, class, let's talk about <clears throat> Medieval West in Crisis. This is our last boards for this summer. Uh, essential question, how did political, social, economic, and biological turmoil uh, affect Europe during this time? Uh, a time of death. So if we remember from our last board, agricultural um, technologies had increased, population had increased, uh, but shortly after that, uh, they had the Little Ice Age, 1310 to 1320, where things actually did get quite a bit cooler. They have uh, some studies now that uh, support this. Uh, caused famine, many people to die. And then we had the Black Death, which was the plague, 1348, uh, was spread from the Middle East to Europe, and, and this affected uh, everybody in Europe. Uh, fleas on rats spread the plague, transported on ships from the Middle East. So during this time, and before it, there were many people going to the east, or the eastern part of the Mediterranean, uh, in forms of the Crusades, or uh, trade ships, or trading in general. Uh, and when they came back, they brought fleas that had been transported all the way across uh, Asia, and uh, on rats, which spread the Black Plague. About 20 million people died in one bout of the uh, Black Death, uh, and it returned many times. So it wasn't just like uh, the Black Death, the plague, and in one year it was done. It came through uh, from Southern Europe to Northern Europe uh, in a series of years, and then it kept returning. Serfs who survived gained power since there was a shortage of labor, but not much. Uh, a cold wind from the east, uh, we had the Mongols from the steppe of Mongolia. They band together and ride west uh, all the way across Asia uh, to the doorstep of Europe. Uh, this was Genghis Khan during the 1200s. He was able to uh, essentially take the largest land mass area of any uh, conqueror in civilization and uh, unify them all the way across Asia. Uh, he was stopped uh, right before he went into Europe because he died and his sons uh, could, you know, they fought over who was going to be in charge and they never uh, went further. Uh, the trade routes east were broken when the Mongols ruled, prompting explorers to look for another route, i.e. Columbus, Vasco da Gama, or those explorers when they couldn't get their goods that they wanted from the east because of uh, the interruptions of war, then they started to look for an alternate route. The Ottoman Turks were able to use Mongol military ways to help dominate Eastern Mediterranean, and they set up the Ottoman Empire, which would rule Eastern Mediterranean for several centuries. Turks take Constantinople in 1453 and pushed into Europe numerous times, but was unsuccessful of going all the way into uh, Europe through the Balkan region. An age of warfare, feudalism, and the weak kings of England and France made a Stable government difficult. The Hundred Years' War, 1337 to 1453, a series of battles between the English and French. French, and it wasn't just one battle. English were uh, able to win major battles that allowed them to control much of the northern and what is present-day western uh, France. Uh, then we have a very famous uh, teenager in history, Joan of Arc, teenage girl, rallies the French and led many uh, battles. Uh, captured by the English and burned. So she was a teenager, thought she was hearing voices from God to tell her to uh, attack and take command of many French forces. Many of the generals doubted her, but she was a very uh, strategic person and she uh, ended up winning quite, quite a few battles against the English to kick them out of the French land. Uh, there were many military uh, revolutions during the war. Um, troubled Church, the Babylonian captivity of the church, 1305 to 1378. Uh, problems in Rome. Rome had been sacked numerous times. Uh, in, in this case, Rome uh, and the Pope were unprotected, so they decided to move to France. Once they moved to France, it was called the Babylonian captivity. The Great Schism of, uh, uh, was when the Pope decides to move back to Rome. So the Pope decides to move back. The people in France want him to remain in France, <clears throat> so they vote in their own pope. So from 1378 to 1417, there were two popes, one in France, one in Rome. Uh, and this created a lot of turmoil uh, in the church. John Wycliffe criticized the pope's power, led to modern devotion in 1441, some writings, and the imitation of Christ written by monks. Uh, and this, these were writings that were very popular. Uh, culture of loss, the idea of death was ever-present in Europe. 
it influenced all aspects of life uh, in Europe. Uh, that's where we get that uh, ring around a posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. You know, you even had nursery rhymes coming out of the Black Plague and death in uh, Europe. Dante uh, writes the Divine Comedy, which includes Inferno, or Dante's Inferno, Inferno, a 14th century epic poem, reflection on the times, and a reflection on the church. Uh, Geoffrey Chaucer was an English uh, poet, 1342 to 1400. He wrote Canterbury Tales about pilgrims traveling to Canterbury. He is uh, probably one of the most important um, writers before Shakespeare in English history. Now, Muslims had ruled much of Spain, um, coming out of uh, uh, northern Africa and into Spain in the 700s and 800s and into the 900s. But in the 1200s, they began to push them back. And when I say they, it would be the Christians and or the uh, rulers at the time. Uh, and they be started to become persecuted. In the late 1400s, all Muslims and Jews were expelled uh, cultural boundary from Spain, and cultural boundaries began to form. Uh, and when they expelled the Muslims and Jews, they gave them uh, two options. That you could either leave or you can convert to uh, Christianity. And there were some that tried to convert to Christianity, but, you know, did they really do it? Uh, others uh, just chose death. So this was the beginning of some kinds of religious persecutions uh, that had been taking place um, years before, but now were uh, led by kings and queens. All right, remember, history's no mystery. Thanks, we'll see you in September.